<laughs> Tell me where she is, bear! Screenshotting this. I'm only kidding, you don't know. You're only a bear. A stupid, no nothing bear. Komaru, is that really you? Sure is. Hey, Makoto. I knew it. You're, you're Makoto, right? Mr. Makoto Naegi, right? Mister? You're safe. I'm so relieved. I was worried the whole time. Same here. I wish I knew you were alright. I mean... I thought you had already died. Oh, Makoto, I'm so glad you're alive. I'm glad too, Komaru. I thought I'd never see you again. But I'm relieved to find out you're safe. Y yeah. Hey, what about Dad and Mom? Are they with you? Huh? I see. And you don't know either. I was hoping that you would. And you don't know either? But, but I... It's gonna be all right. Don't worry. I'm sure they're just fine, wherever they are. But you have no proof of that. They could be... There's no proof they're not okay either. So let's just believe in hope for now. You say so. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's funny. I never thought I'd hear you say something like that. Really? Well, being positive is like my only good point. But more importantly, where are you right now? What's going on over there? I I'm at a building called Toa Tower. I, I was told I could use the communication device here. Wait, that reminds me. Why are you answering? What do you mean by that? I mean, I called Future Foundation. Why are you the one who responded? You... you really don't know? I called your dense, Kamaru. Don't know? A about what? I'm with Future Foundation, Branch 14. That's my division. Toko, is this true? Toko? Wait, what? Toko is there with you? <laughs> what? You got a problem with that? You disappeared! Everyone was so worried about you! Worried? 
like anyone would actually care if an intern went missing. You know I would never stay behind on a mission like this, especially with Master going. So you tagged along without orders. Well, I figured that was pretty much what happened. Wait, hold on! You two know each other? That's why Toko knew about me from the beginning? Yeah, she... didn't tell you that? Yeah, Toko, why didn't you tell Kamaru that? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Did I not? You damn well know you didn't. No, you very much didn't! Yeah, that sounds like Toko. Anyway, I'm glad you two are together. I'm just with her because I have no choice. Your whiny little sister balls when she's alone. So basically, I'm just a babysitter. I guess this will prepare me for my future with Master. Hey, hey! I wasn't bawling! Don't listen to her, Makoto! So, where is Byakuya? Master is... safe. Safe, but captured by the enemy. Just as I thought. Future Foundation's intel said as much. I just didn't believe it. I mean, Byakuya? Captured? He was probably taken by surprise by some fiendish cowards. There's no other way. Ugh, the son of the noble Togami family brought to the position of a mere hostage. Sounds like the situation is pretty serious. So serious the world is gonna collapse. The ultimate affluent progeny is in danger. Ultimate? Oh yeah. Byakuya Toko and I were all classmates at Hope's Peak Academy. Oh yeah, you forgot to mention that too, didn't you, Toko? Wait, you... you didn't know that either? No, I didn't. Well, now's the time for your brother to explain it. Here's your chance. Now you can show off your utter lack of presence with your brother complex. Uh, I do not have a brother complex. I don't really know where to start. We weren't just regular classmates. We were trapped inside Hope's Peak Academy during the tragedy. We were forced to kill each other. Our classmates. Kill? A lot of our classmates ended up killing each other. Right in front of our eyes. Even after all this time, the memory, the despair, I can still feel it. It wasn't just some movie or game? Kamaru, you've been attacked by robot bears. This shouldn't be beyond your capacity to believe. It wasn't a movie. It was reality. It actually happened. And it was all broadcast live as part of the tragedy. The mastermind behind it all wanted to spread despair throughout the world. They wanted to show the whole world. The students of Hope's Peak Academy, the symbols of hope, falling to despair and death. Well, no chiming in with a remark this time? But wait, you two are still alive, so... Yeah. We were able to defeat the mastermind who planned the killing game and survive. Of course, we couldn't save everybody. And after that, we left Hope's Peak Academy and went into the outside world. But outside, it was more horrifying than we expected. It was easy to get discouraged. But by supporting each other, the friends who survived hell together, we moved forward. Soon we came under future Foundation protection. We chose to lend ourselves to the cause. To fight against the remnants of despair, who are still trying to spread despair to the world. Uh, net in dropping the Danganronpa 2 gang. Right, Toko? I 
didn't know about that at all. I never thought something like that was going on. But you guys are so amazing. I gave up immediately, but you guys... You guys fought and confronted the problem. I guess that's why you've changed. No, not really. I was always being saved by everyone else. Hm. You saying that? Your brother got so hyped up from being declared the ultimate hope. He was always dragging everyone along, so eager about everything. Hey, I wouldn't say I was hyped about it. Oh, but you don't deny the dragging everyone along part, huh? Jeez, take it easy on me. Makoto, you've definitely changed. You too, Komaru? What do you mean? I haven't changed a bit. No, really. You really change. Might be weird for your little sister to say this, but you seem more mature now. Wow, that's kind of a burn. Just from this conversation, I can tell you're more reliable than you used to be. Well, I don't really think so, though. But me? I haven't changed at all. Not since my imprisonment. Listen, about that. There's something I need to apologize for. Huh? Apologize? The reason you were in prison there? It's because of us. If we weren't chosen by the Mastermind, you wouldn't have ended up like this. Huh? What do you mean? You aren't the only prisoner in Toa. With you is everyone who is relevant to our classmates. In order to make us commit murder, the Mastermind abducted people relevant to us and tried to use them as a motive. We managed to stop it before it got that far, but the theme was killing among loved ones. The Mastermind was going to force us to watch you kill each other, to make us really lose all hope. Wait, really? I don't remember that. The video of you, our family, being abducted was used for motive as well. But that was just the beginning. The Mastermind was planning something far more cruel. In the end, the Mastermind was swallowed by the despair, and that motive was left unused. But even after that, I, I was still in prison. Probably the doings of the remnants of despair, trying to succeed the Mastermind's will. Because of them, we were totally in the dark about where the captives were being held. But a few days ago, Future Foundation received an anonymous tip. We were told captives from the killing game were being held in a certain apartment in Toa City. So that's why Byakuya and the others were at my apartment. But because of those rioting little brats and their machines. The plan for saving the captives was scrapped. And even Master, the protagonist, was captured. Makoto, you've already heard the ones causing the riots here are Monokumas, right? So, did you figure out what the deal is with these Monokumas yet? No, we still haven't figured that out. Huh? Jeez, Future Foundation's useless. The Monokuma riot starting at the exact same time as the rescue operation. Strange. It's not strange, it was obviously a trap. Like I said, it's no coincidence. It's conspiracy. Someone's setting up Future Foundation. Say Toko knows. Then that would mean the tip was a trap. Using the captives as bait to lure us there. Captives aren't just bait, they're targets for the massacre game the brats are playing. Massacre game? They make hunting and killing the captives part of their little game to taunt us. Wait, does that mean the captives are the ones wearing wristbands like mine? Then Yuda and Hiroko and that man with the computer, they're, they're all captives? Yes. 
There are people close to us. People who were imprisoned in Toa, just like you. Kamaru, what you just said, is it true? You're involved in this massacre game too? Y yeah. They put a wristband on me, and now I'm being chased by these weird kids. That's... And one of the brats who started this sick game said something interesting earlier. Something about Big Sis Junko. Junko? You mean Junko and Oshima? Uh, yeah. How many Junkos do you know, Makoto? Junko and Oshima? She's the mastermind behind the school... No, she's the mastermind behind the tragedy itself. And she has huge boobs. Big boobs, too? Junko and Oshima is known as the true ultimate despair. She was our former classmate. But didn't you say earlier that you already defeated the mastermind? Yes, Junko and Oshima is dead. But it seems her memory is still alive and well. Even in death. Junko and Oshima continues to influence the remnants of despair. She's become a martyr to them. Now she's even more trouble than when she was alive. I find that dubious. It's like they worship her. Like some big chested despair goddess or something. We did defeat her at Hope's Peak Academy, but... Well, lately, I've been thinking. She must have foreseen this possibility from the very beginning. I mean, she is essentially Professor Moriarty in a short skirt, so yeah, most likely. Listening to you guys is... I just can't believe it's all real. Yes, her big boobs are indeed real. Try to focus, Toko. No, not that part. Try not to be such a gigantic lesbian at this exact moment. After this conversation is done, you may resume that as you please. But I get why you think this is all just fiction. Crazy kids are killing adults, you know? Yeah. Things are just so messed up here. Makoto, hurry up and get over here! Because of the wristband, I can't get out of the city. If I leave without permission, it blows! But Future Foundation can remove the wristband, right? So please come save me! Kamaru... You can't. Huh? I, I can't... Can't what? Why do you think they're holding Master hostage? They don't want Future Foundation to interfere. Like taking hostages during a bank robbery. Master Byakuya is being used as a deterrent. M meaning, if Future Foundation came to this city, Master would be... Then Future Foundation won't come save us? Then what am I supposed to do? Didn't I already tell you? There's no other way. You have to fight against those kids. Get rid of them, and you can save yourself and Master. That's impossible! No, it isn't. You have Master's gun, and I'm with you too. But, but I, I can't take this anymore. I just can't do it anymore. I'm not from Future Foundation or Hope's Peak. I'm just a normal girl who can't do anything! Oh come on, Makoto got past this in like, chapter 2, probably, maybe. Kamaru. Makoto, please, I'm begging you! Come save me! Hurry, please! I told you, you can't! If they come here to rescue you, Master will be executed! Makoto, you better not come, if you even try it. I... I will... I will kill your sister! Kill? Toko, I'm dead! Makoto! Out of battery.
Harry. No, it can't be. That must mean they found us. trap us. We gotta hurry and get out of here. But I haven't finished talking to my brother. We can't get through anymore. And it doesn't matter anyway, no matter how much you talk. As long as Master is in their custody, Future Foundation cannot come to this town. But if it's Makoto... What? Blackout? Rich Black? Taking too many deep breaths. That's it. Just whew, lightheaded. Yeah, she's panicking. It's fine. We just gotta get out of here. Hurry, or I'll stretch your cheeks out like rubber. Got it. Okay, I guess we walk towards that glint of light. gonna be a bit brighter now that little brat I'm I'm sure she knows how to get out of this place let's try following her footprints this paint the hacking gun can see it right oh yeah so dark this is very silent hell. Like we can't see a thing outside of this one small cone. It was surprised you. When did they build a gold monokuma statue? Why is this town filled with monokuma paraphernalia? Get the life out of me! <sighs> Hi. Uh, demon name, Nico Nico Maru. Real name, Grand Boy Sherry Ludenberg. This must be... Um, Celeste? Celestias? The Ultimate Gamblers. Uh, 
captive. It's cute on the outside, but inside it's all slimy and yucky. If you let your guard down and get too close, it will eat you. No doubt with gyoza food and burn it to ash with a fire attack. It might look like a cat, but cat food doesn't work, so pick the right food. Hunting grounds, tell us the call. Oh, he's worth a goddamn Monokuma statue. Here we go. I can hear him on a kuma. Fuck you and the bear you rode in on. Bear statue again. How do I keep getting turned around like this? There's another Monokuma around here. Shh, sigh, I am tired of this. I should go inside the washing machine and get some sleep.
Okay, we found her. No, 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 we're not doing this. If you wash black clothes too many times, the color fades, but there's a way to combat this. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, um, what? What's that? It's a simple method. First, do the laundry like you normally would. First, do the laundry like I normally would. Yeah. Yes, do the laundry. Like usual. Uh, do the laundry like usual. But before you rinse it off, add just a little bit of beer to the water. Add a little bit of beer to the to the water. Oh yes, I will. I'll add beer, anything. And just like that, faded clothes can be fully restored. Thanks, bro. I'm starting to get better at doing laundry. Dude. Oh. Thank you very much. I can be the perfect livestock for that. Don't go get a hold of yourself! <laughs> what? What happened? Found the emergency exit, but it's blocked. That brat! She betrayed us! A little more and I would have blown up! I don't think she was our ally from the start. Sh shut up! This is your fault! Why is it my fault? You're the one who said you wanted to contact Future Foundation, and now this happens! Thanks to you, I got caught in this damn trap! Take some responsibility! Responsibility? Ugh, who cares? I don't want to hear your excuses! I just need some light, yeah? Light! More light! More light! Thank you. Over there. Oh. The light's coming through. Maybe you can break that part. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now we can get outside. Smoothly done if I do say so myself. Hey, uh, a monoduck. Well, this is a good place to leave things for today. So, like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.